Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we discovered that we had indeed traveled to Kamiki Village from the Spirit Gate. Except we had traveled to Kamiki Village 100 years in its past, when Orochi's reign was still at its peak, when Shirinui still walked Nippon. This time, we're going to be going to the Moon Cave with, with Nagi, because we accidentally knocked him out, and so we have to f fulfill the legacy by bringing him disguised as the Sacrificial Maiden. So, starting off, uh, we have some things we can bloom here, and a treasure to be had. Et ooh, etched glass. I need to be on the eye out for that, uh, be on the lookout for that more, because that is like a super good treasure. It's actually the second best treasure in the game. Oh, and back here, if I can walk there without being stuck, there is a clover. Now you know what this means, guys. You know what it means? It means... That I can f Oh, wait, wait. I haven't got the praise yet. Fill me with your praise, and it was invisible. Fill me with your invisible praise. Now I have 418, and I can upgrade my astral pouch one last time. There it is! That is a full... Uh, those are full stats. Well, except for this one, but... We can't upgrade that without Sun Fragments, which we'll be getting later. But yeah, we have everything. Everything. That's insane. It's been so long. It took us 70 episodes to get that. Uh, let's see. And actually, instead of filling it the normal way, I'm going to fill it with a Golden Peach, because... I'm never going to use this, and I think I should use it now. There, Golden Peach. We have four lives. That is amazing. So, there's nowhere else to go but forward, so forward we shall go. Moon Cave Entrance. Just as we saw it, uh, the 50, 50 episodes? 45 episodes ago, and 100 years in the future of this land. And like, a year ago for the Madrasu's history and stuff. It's complicated. Time. It, complicated. I bet when this Let's Play started, you'd never guess that we'd be traveling through time. Well, I didn't either when I first started playing, and now I do. Also, is this poison water? No. It's... okay, it's just normal. Why is that not hurting us? That should, like, totally hurt us. That should be a curse zone, actually. That'd be really good. Makes me wonder if there are any treasures hidden around here, but I will not look because it is a waste of time. What will seek to waste our time, however, is an enemy or a, a entity from my past and yours. A Dogu! Fighting a Dogu is like fighting Blight all over again. It has teleport moves and it is very resilient. However, if you get the same type, type attack bonus from, um, from the dual glaives here, you can just kind of wreck them. And also, their floral finishers are power slash. And you get four demon fangs apiece? What? Oh my word. And a golden peach. That is insane. But yeah, you didn't really get time to see. And to, and, wow, 20,000 yen. Okay. You didn't really get to see him for long, but those were Dogu, and they're normally very, very resilient. But I have this. I have my weapons. Um, I should note that these enemies will glitch the game. Before going to this area, you need to save. Um, this is actually the second take I've done with this episode, because as soon as I walked over there, and stuff happened, and that will happen in a second, the game froze, and I had to redo the episode because it would have corrupted the recording. Yeah! Um, so those enemies, for whatever reason, like to glitch the game. It's, I have no idea why. Um, it could have something to do with the area, how it's, you know, 100 years in the past, so they have to change elements of it and copy code over? I have no idea, but I do know that a game freezing after you haven't saved for a long time is very frustrating, uh, so make sure you save before you, you come here. Hmm, there's no barrier this time. That Odoshi must think no one would dare come in here. We should still be careful, no matter how unprepared that snake is. I mean, if you think about it, you managed to slay Odoshi 100 years ago, 
But you died too, and you were at your peak back then. Legend says you appeared each year around the time of the sacrifice. Back then you were called Shiranui, and were said to be a monster. So, how come you didn't just go and get rid of Otachi right away? Well, I suppose you had your reasons. But I bet it made Otachi think you were a, a big fat chicken. Oh, the little whine there she did, it was so cute. <laughs> huh? Where am I? What in the world? Why am I wearing this? Hey, Pops, you finally came too. Now you can pretend to be the human sacrifice and slay Orochi. Then Nami will fall in love with you big time. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, yes, of course. I am Nagi, the greatest warrior who ever lived! Susano is just like this guy. I love it. Brace yourself, Ami. Here it comes. Denied. <laughs> he woke up from being unconscious just to be <laughs> all pretty much killed. Like that would totally kill you. Looks like Odorchi can taste the difference between man and maiden. Well, this is it, Ami. Psych yourself up. We're about to face Odorchi in peak condition. Are we really facing him in peak condition? Moon Cave. Looks a lot better from when we were first here. Man, the stairs are actually here now. This is nice. We can climb up here in style. What on earth? Look, Ami, the sake barrel. You obtained eight purification sake. I haven't done that voice in a long time. I miss it. Too bad Orochi didn't drink it down when he tried to eat pops. But I guess things are never that easy. Still, it ain't over till it's over. I mean, victory is still up for the grabs, ain't it? That it is. So, let's run up the stairs, not have to go through the moon cave, which is about a mile below us, and just walk up. Oh my word, it was so easy. Oh my word. Like, seriously, if... if Can I go in first person? Yes, I can. If Amaterasu just decided to build a bridge from scratch... It would have taken less time than going through the entire mood and cave did. Seriously, she should have just built a bridge. I guess she's not good at bridge building, but she could make it out of glaives or something. But oh, that I digress because we're here. It's so easy. We don't have to go through all the turmoil below. Hey, isn't that... Oki? An evil power lured me to this cave. And now that you're also here, there can be no doubt. This must be Orochi's stronghold. Huh? Ami! There's someone passed out over there! Oh no, it's Lika! There's Orochi in top form, and there's the lightning head, unaware of anything that's going on. So this is the dreaded Orochi. Ami, this time, this time's the real deal. Remember, you just barely managed to slay Orochi at your peak. 
And in the end, you died too. Fools, how dare you stand in my way? I shall claim my 100th sacrifice and become god of the underworld. Then I shall bring eternal darkness upon all the land. But first, you shall pay for defiling my dark sanctuary. I'm a stranger to these lands. Your words mean nothing to me. Now, Kutane shall feast upon your blood. That should be more than enough to fulfill its need. No, Oki, wait! Lika's on Orochi's back! I care not, for Orochi will be my ultimate offering to the Sacred Sword. Kutane will deliver the beast, devour the beast down to the very marrow in its bones. Hey! This is bad. The sake is not even ready yet. We battle Orochi yet again. The strategy is exactly the same. However, he is a lot more powerful. Our goal is to... Nope, not power slash, to stun each of the heads by getting them drunk with the eight purification sake. This time, it's at its top form. Okay, the poison head. Just use Gale Storm to blow it. Blow it! Away, there. Come on. And sake, be stunned. Now, I actually want to skip heads here and go to the fire head because I need to show something off. Actually, there's the lightning head's attacks, which we never got to see before. Um, if we go into our equipments menu and equip the fire tablet, it directly counters the fire head so that he can do no damage to us with elemental attacks. This is very good. And also, also the dark, the, uh, what is that? The earth head just wanted some, he totally wanted some ponage there. So yeah, we can just stand still and it will not hurt us at all. Uh, attack. Come on, roar. Yeah, I missed that other one. I need to get into the groove here. Come on, pal. And he is stunned. There. Okay, fire head. That won't work. I'm totally immune to that attack. There. Now, after doing this, he'll be half stunned, so let's bounce over here while he is stunned. And bloom these, uh, these blossoms. No, 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 no. Okay, that was good. that's good. That would have created a curse zone that would have drained our ink. There, he's stunned now. Firehead, give me your worst. And by your worst, I mean everything that I am immune to and more. And by more, I mean... Sake! Darkness head, give it to me again. I didn't have enough the first time. Bloom and bloom. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, actually, no, let's just skip that head. No, no. There, I did it. Okay, you bloom. No, no, no. Bloom, bloom. No. Ah, oh, man. Well, that's fine. Okay, now they're all stunned. Let's run up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up here. Oh, I, I almost didn't make it. Let's attack this and finish off the first phase. There. Whew. That was actually a little bit harder. I don't know why. Um... The strategy is exactly the same, so I don't know why I had so much trouble with the with the easy part, but I did. Um, also, the fire attacks from the sky will no longer hurt, hurt you because you have the fire tablet, so it's very worth your while to equip this, especially since um, since no, no other equipables will d be useful. Also, power slash will hurt the sky, but fire will not. Is he gone? Yes, he is. Okay, you Earthhead. No, you don't. It's not how I work. You will miss every single time, and then, and then, whoa, no, you're not going to do that. Hit me. Try it. Just try it. You're gone too. Let's go ahead and charge up our glaive. I do suggest using the glaives for this because you can charge them up while you're doing, while you're dodging their attacks. It is ver a very good technique, and I highly suggest it. Poison head? No, you're not going to do that. Come on. Hit me with your worst. Oh, there's that attack. I just scale storm it away. And what are you going to do? You're going to roar. Well, I'm going to kill you. Orochi is a lot more powerful than you used to. You can see how resilient he is standing up to my attacks. I think he was even more he was more resilient than he was be 
way more resilient than he was before. Okay, that head's down. Let's go ahead and take care of the light head, which we never got to see its attacks before now because I just took care of it so easily. Oh, wow. Uh, this attack, you just dodge by jumping and using fleet foot. That's the only way to counter it. There are no elemental counters for this. They're like, it's like they're, ugh. there are no darkness techniques, so you can't do anything. Now, fire does damage them, and it, damage, it damages them a great deal. However, I'm not sure how it compares to Power Slash 2 right now. That's something I don't really know. We'll try it on this guy. Lightning, s same way, just jump. And he's confused, as he always is. Maybe it's also because one of his eyes covered. Are you going to roar or what? Roar. What do you have? There you are. Same fatal flaw as all the heads. Okay, you are power slash. Okay, let's try fire. Fire does some. They do about, e they're about equal. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter which one you use, except you cannot use fire on the, um, on the fire head because it's immune. Okay, there it is. That was that was very easy. He didn't even have time to initiate attack an attack, which is good because this guy's attack is really bad. Come on, and you're gone. Now this is the Earth Head. I forgot. Like, did we we didn't haven't faced him before? No, it's the Wind Head. My bad. Is there? Yeah, there is. Okay. Come on. There you go. And one head left after this. Two, three. Four. We haven't taken any damage, which is awesome. Uh, power slash and hit one last time to kill him. Final head. What is this? Let's see. This is the darkness head? Yes? I think this is the darkness head. And that was easy. Here we go. Let's fulfill the prophecy even though Nagi isn't here and slay Orochi. Done. Hey, get out of the way! Silence! Kutune, awaken! The time has come to glow silver! Grant me the power of the heavens! What the? Oki! I don't understand. Why won't Kutune awaken? Why, Kutune? Why? Hold it right there, vile serpent. Ami, is that who I think it is? Behold, Nagi, the greatest warrior who ever lived. And from this day forth, guardian deity of Kamiki Village. Hear me, vile serpent, who would do violence upon the weak. Your time is up. Feel the wrath of my trusty sword. That was planned. Sure, Nui, I don't know why you are here, but Orochi is mine. I shall slay the beast. The time has come. Oh, great gods of the heavens, sweep away those dark clouds. Bear witness as the beast succumbs to my trusty sword. Bo Boken. Boken. Bokun and Jin. Wait, this all sounds familiar. Oh yeah, the legend of Nagi. His sword gained power over evil when the moon shined upon it. At least that's what they say.
His sword. It's... Hmm? What devilry is this? My sword. It suddenly blazed gold. It must be the heavens which aid me. I shall wield this divine gift with all my might. Nagi style. Blade of truth. Good. Will. Never. Give. In. To. Evil. Now, for the ultimate in Nagi-style martial arts. Celestial Cleaver! Yes! The Thunder Edge. Glaive imbued with Thunder Spirit utilizes lightning power. The moment that the Legend of Nagi was fulfilled. It was the most beautiful sight one could imagine. Bathed in moonlight, Nagi's sword twinkled, reflecting golden light. With Orochi's body cleaved, the body the beast was sealed for 100 years. The sword was dug, dubbed Sukiyomi and enshrined in the moon cave. Little Lika, the Uina girl who had tra been tainted by Orochi's dark power, had her curse lifted and returned to normal. However, one man, Oki, did not show such signs of recovery. Orochi's power had interfered with his most desperate attack. Despite the grave danger, Kutane did not exhibit the silver glow. Oki's heart burned at the thought of what Nagi's sword had wrought. Thoroughly humiliated and boiling with rage, he sulked away into the darkness, making sure that no one lay eyes upon him.
要肯定的，我很慢。Let's get out of here quick. The boulders will hit you, so you need to run very quickly. Come on, and watch for the shadows as well. But yeah, did you see that? That was the Shiranui. So my theory that we were shooting Shiranui all along doesn't hold water. You know that wolf who helped Nagi? That was Shiranui. Or in other words, that was you 100 years ago. That was how you met your end after your venture with Gramps. You battled and slew the dreaded Orochi, only to die yourself. Isun, is that you? Hmm? Lika! It's been ages! Too bad we had to meet like this. What made you go through the Spirit Gate anyway? Spirit Gate? What's that? All I remember is two owls appearing, appearing in a dream. They invited me to come play with them in the forest. Next thing I knew, I woke up there. Thank goodness you and your doggy came to save me. You had a dream about two owls? Aren't the guardian, guardian gods of Kamui owls? Why would the owls lead you here? Look, Ami. The sun. It's starting to wane. The day of darkness is about to begin. This day-long solar eclipse only happens once every 100 years. Day of darkness? What's that? It looks like some something's taking a big bite out of the sun. Ami, you're the sun god. What's gonna happen to you if the sun disappears? Sun god? What's that? Lika, you can recite the volcanic incantation, can't you? It's supposed to make that frozen mountain Ezufuji erupt, right? Well, you better do it, because Kamui is going to freeze over if you, can't, if you don't. Volcanic incantation? What's that? You mean that prayer we offered to the mountain by the lake? Yeah, I can mimic that prayer old, of old man Kimu perfectly. He even told me that I do it pretty well. I know, I know. That's why I, we need your help back in the village. Let's go, Ami. Back to Web Cure as fast as you can. Let's go. We should be able to head back pretty quickly. And this time we don't have to worry about falling boulders. But man, that was, that was insane. We saw Shiranui. And it looks as if the legends were true. Amaterasu was in her full form back when she was Shiranui. Like, you could, you could see the increase in power there. She was, or he, as many believe Shiranui to be a boy.
Whoa. Now that's one nasty blizzard. It's blowing in from the rear of the village. Anyway, we gotta get L Lika to the altar. We're almost to the led edge of Leochi Lake. And we will be doing that next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. If you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, uh, comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. Next time in Pal Plays Okami, we will be heading to Leochi Lake to deliver Lika to her place of prayer. I'll see you guys then.